In this video we want to show you how SignUse Wise displays user data in email signatures. First, we will take a look at directory information for users within the Google Workspace Admin Console. As a Google Workspace Admin, you can add information such as phone numbers, secondary email addresses, and office locations to users' profiles. There are a number of other fields that you can edit for each user separately or for all of them at once by using one of the bulk update methods. This user data is a basis for every email signature. The SignUseWise app enables you to insert directory user information into the email signatures. Now we will see how user data is displayed in SignUseWise. In the email signature editor, you can add a number of placeholders that display different information for each user from your domain. While creating your email signature template in SignUseWise, you can simply select the placeholders from the drop-down list within the editor toolbar and add the desired placeholder into the editor. When you choose to preview a template, it will load data from the directory for a particular user. When selecting some other user from a domain, it will load data for that user automatically. If user data is not available in SignUseWise, that is because it is not added in the Google Workspace directory. In the following video we will show you how to update those fields from the Google Workspace, so stay tuned for more, and feel free to reach out to us if you have any questions.